when machines replace men <laughs> a little kind of a rant video here if you will so to speak um, but it's it's a something that really ticks me off because I do have a, a history in, in studying forestry logging uh, firewood production even pruning some some arborist type of work that I used to do and uh, there's a right way and a wrong way to take care of a forest and what you're hearing in the background here is not the right way to do it I'll show you a video here in just a little bit um, very sloppy it's it's a way of getting unskilled labor in you get a big machine that you don't own you're in debt to the bank for and you got to time is money the whole deal and you get in there and you replace a work crew of men with a machine and the machine can't do as good a job as skilled labor but you eliminate skilled labor to replace it with machines it's a bad thing it's a very bad thing and uh, I know anybody out there that understands who I am I'm, I'm a Bible believing preacher and they'd say well, well Brian you know doesn't the Bible say in the book of Revelation that a third of the trees will be burned up and and you know over there in 2nd Peter chapter 3 about the whole earth being burned up yeah I get it I get it I understand that the, that this is all just temporary heaven is our home if you're saved I get it but you know what God still created this earth and God put me in trust of this property where I'm standing and I think it I should be a good steward of this of this land and there's a right way and a wrong way like I said to cut down trees and cut them to cut branches off to prune them in a way that they'll heal over I'll show proof of that and this just I, I don't even know what you want to call it um, hurry up and butcher the trees because we can't afford to pay a tree company actual skilled labor to come out here and take care of it this just ticks me off and all it's doing is creating problems down the road and uh, much like sin sin oh it's it's nice and easy and convenient whatever when you do it but later on down the road it comes back to get you um, be sure your sins will find you out as the old saying goes uh, so I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on um, just disgusting uh, it's not the way to prune trees let me show you this is how we uh, apparently prune trees here in the area look at the fine job up there there's no way that that's ever gonna heal over Yes, machine has replaced skilled work, I guess, apparently. Used to be tree crews would come out and actually use chainsaws or whatever else. Prune trees correctly so that the trees heal. That's not going to heal, it's just going to rot, kill the tree. But hey, job security, because then you get to come back in a few years and when all the trees are falling down because they're dead. The ones that you've butchered like that. Yeah, that's the way you prune a tree right there, look at that. Yeah, that'll heal. That tree's gonna come back in a few years and be good and healthy. Yep, that's a smart way to prune there, boy. Don't even have to get out, you can just sit there and <laughs> don't even break a sweat or anything, you know? How disgusting. <laughs> yeah crazy absolutely nuts and here comes another rapist logging everything possible See, some people might think that this is progress. It's not progress. Machine replacing skilled work and people just logging everything that they can. It says that the economy is going down.
Very sickening. All right, just to illustrate what I'm trying to say about properly pruning a tree, this little tree here in front of me, this one right here, is a quaking aspen tree. Old timers call them popple, but uh, this tree here I pruned about two years ago, pruned the lower branches off, and you can see how it healed over. If you don't prune it right into the actual tree, there's like a little nodule or something, I think they call it, and you cut it off in front of that, and just two years, it healed over completely. And as this tree gets bigger, this will just be a little tiny knot in the woods someday. Um, if you prune properly, the trees will get healthy, very healthy. And I did this to show my wife and my son as I was teaching him about forestry. I, I did it to show him proper ways to prune trees. So he does, just doesn't go hack the trees like crazy. There's another one back there I did. You can see that one as well. Right there, I pruned this one and it's healing over very nicely. So using a big machine to just go and splinter the, the branches like you can hear in the background, um, the trees aren't going to he heal. They're going to rot and die and fall down. There's no point in doing it. If you're gonna kill the trees, just kill the trees. Cut the trees down and, and be done with it. But see, it's, it's lazy man's uh, work. You, you get a big machine, you sit on your lazy rear end and, and you sit inside the thing and you just butcher trees and knowing hey I can come back in a few years and when these trees are across the road and whatever else and cut them up it's ridiculous um, just horrible all right here is a little stand of timber just a real small part on our land that I selectively cut got rid of all the dead standing timber there's one right over there right here there's one now that's dead, but uh, I cut all, all of that stuff out of here, thinned out the, the stand a little bit, the timber stand, 
and I pruned the trees. And again, um, the trees are healing over. It's looking a whole lot better. You can see one of the bigger stumps right down there. Right there. Even put some grooves in it to help it to rot better, but um, with a chainsaw, I'm saying. But there's a stump, there's a stump. I logged this back in here about two years ago. Same time I did the pruning on the other tree there. But again, this is what makes a, a forest healthy. Coming in and actually caring for the land that God gives you instead of just hands off or, or calling the logging crews or the modern logging crews that come in with their big feller bunchers and whatever else and just go back through. I mean, this, this property here was damaged horribly by uh, logging that was not good logging. And I, I realize that some of this stuff should be thinned out. You know, those, those two trees right there are a little bit close to each other. But I, I just did a kind of an initial thinning and uh, there's a lot more to do on the land here. A whole lot more to do. But just to show what can happen with good logging practices. Um, you would never even know that there were a lot of trees cut down here in this spot, but there was trees all over the place. But I took care to fell them correctly so I, I didn't damage a lot of the trees that were going to be left. Selective cut is what that's called. And uh, you take down any kind of cull trees, any kind of bad stuff, things that are diseased, you get rid of those, Get you know, use them for firewood or whatever else so that the rest of the trees that are standing have more sunlight, have more water from the ground, and they'll grow better, they'll grow healthier. You can see these trees were pruned back years ago when they had good sense. Right there, a good tree crew did that. You can see how it's healing over right there on that knot where the, where the branch used to be. So they did do it the right way at some point in time. Gotta love this. <laughs> it can't can't uh, get rid of the snowmobile trail sign there. But you just mangle the top of the birch tree that it's on. I mean, what's the point of that? A tree's gonna be rotting and falling down. <laughs> you know, I mean, why? Doesn't make any sense. That fine bunch of trees right there. Yeah, buddy. That'll heal. Yes, sir, those trees are just going to get healthier now. Again, you can see this big, real nice big wheat pine here. And it's not going to heal over. That's doing significant damage to the tree that will ultimately cause rot to be introduced into the trunk and it will kill the tree. But hey, you saved money. That's what it's all about. 